Hello and welcome. My name's Rudy Page and I'm really pleased today that we've got the team from UEL. There's a great conference coming up and it's titled Embedding Diabetes Awareness Within Neighbourhoods and Local Communities, A Call to Action. And UEL is actually based in the North East London NHS region which covers Barking and Dagenham, City of London, Hackney, Havering, Newham, Redbridge, Tower Hamlets. So this is a significant event as it relates to NHS, academic universities such as UAL in collaboration in our neighborhoods and local communities. So I'm really pleased once again to say good morning to Patricia. Hi, Patricia, and your team. Good morning. Hi, hi. Thanks for having having me again, and for um invite allowing me to bring my students and other members of staff on board this time. Thank you. Excellent, excellent, Patricia. So, Patricia, this is the fifth annual diabetes conference. So can you just tell us a bit about the history and why this particular conference is so special? Well, yes, you're right. This is a fifth annual conference, um, diabetes conference. And over the years, it's grown from a half day conference where we had um, people talking just about simple things around exercise and diet, uh, exercise and physical activity to a more holistic and integrated um, conference, which has taken on board so many other ideas, which uh, um, which is surrounded around, um, which involves people living with diabetes from social, emotional, psychological, diet and nutrition, physical activity. And, and, and it's involved in the NHS and um, service users, um, policy makers and so forth. So it's been quite extent, um, um, historical. But this year is particularly important because this year we're having a call to action around people living with diabetes. Excellent. Thank, thanks for that. Simone, you're, you're a lecturer at UEL. I am. What, is, what has been your role or what is your role in the conference and how has, how has it impacted you? So um, thank you for having me once again. <clears throat> yes, I am a lecturer at the University of East London. My role this year, it's my first rodeo with the conference this year. I will be chairing and I've been heavily involved in the coordination um, and the planning with both um, Patricia and other colleagues and yourself and the students as well. So it's been a collective of sort of planning and coordinating in preparation for this um, major uh, conference on, 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 on the 5th of May. Um, so in terms of communication, so we have um, a number of students who have um, been actively participating, um, engaging in the communities. We have a very diverse community in the London Borough of Newham, and we equally have uh, a diverse community at the University of East London. So um, this type of um, popular student body um, has been able to go out in the communities and strengthen the community communication through things like um, breaking down barriers to language, um, breaking down barriers to accessing knowledge and health literacy. Um, so that's um, where we're at with communication. Excellent, excellent. So I'm going to come to the first of our students. Romano, welcome. Welcome. Hello, sir. Good morning. Happy so, to be here. Great, great, great. So can you tell us about your experience of volunteering at, at a local community pharmacy and how has this helped you as a student? All right. Uh, volunteering at the community pharmacy, which is uh, the EME pharmacy in Stratford, has been an amazing experience for me. Uh, I faced a lot of the people from the diverse communities with a significant number of ethnic minorities like the Caribbean and the Bangladeshi people. It helped me interact with them and, and the people who are not fully aware of the diabetes and how uh, and its causes and in, in, in its implications. 
and then uh, many people don't know what it does to them. So I focus on raising awareness about the diabetes and informing them about the about the free health checkup, which is you no, know, which a lot of people are not aware about the free health checkup uh, entitled for them. So uh, this experience gave me a deeper understanding of the health challenges faced by the underrepresented communities. Uh, in terms of the academic and the professional development, it helped me, uh, taught me the importance of uh, the communication skills uh, and interacting and educating the public about the health issues. It helped me to speak with confidence in public, which is very crucial for public health professional uh, like for us. Also, it has developed my patience level, understanding, and uh, also the cultural competences. Um, and also it, it's been a co-learning experience while I was educating the public. It also I also learned uh, learned from them about the unique challenges and their perspectives on health. Excellent, excellent. All right. Imanshi, same question to you, you know. Yeah. What did you do, you know, and how has it impacted you? So it was a very beautiful experience. Firstly, I want to say, uh, initially I was nervous, but yeah, people were very friendly and generous to talk to. In a single room, I was able to meet a diverse com uh, communities and they were friendly. And I learned a lot, which will be helping me to throughout my academics because I got an insight of how the campaign is being organized and what are the challenges you face. So, and secondly, I will be able to uh, uh, use this knowledge in my research and in my future career as well. So it was a very beautiful experience, I would say. Thank you very much for that. Patricia, you've got to be commended for uh, introducing the young people in, into, the, the, into the neighborhoods through the, the university. And it's really important because post COVID, what we said was that it's about trusted messengers and that we really needed to get the uh, those of us working in the system to be part of the community as much as the community needs to be part of the system in order for us to re reduce the inequalities and obviously to improve awareness, public understanding, so that when we put together our call to action plans, there will be the necessary level of collaboration, trust, and cooperation. Well, thanks, Rudy. I think you you really summed it up quite well. And um, I am absolutely um, happy with the students who have come forward. And these two students are just represent a, a lot more of students who have not been able to be on this program, but they represent those students who have worked hard um, in the community pharmacy, uh, who have worked hard in other areas of volunteering, have been very, very conscientious and have um, applied that to their, their um, academic work. And here at UEL, we want to merge and give our students an understanding that academia is not just about what's in the books, but what's out there and being in the, on, the, on, the, on the road learning from experience and, and, and bringing that into their academic um, work. So I want to say thanks to the students who are here and all the students who are involved and have done a magnificent work. Now, I can't leave out my planning team. Simone um, is a new member of the, my planning team and she has been magnificent. Along with, I have to mention Manisha, Harry, who has not been hasn't been able to be here, and of course, Rudy, you've been you've been a good supportive um, um part of the team as well. And I just want to say thanks to the team because the team has worked really hard to bring this together. And this year, um, a call to action is an important year, which will feed into next year because we've started planning for next year. You know, so just to give a little bit more information about the conference, it's on Wednesday the 22nd of May, that's this Wednesday, the 22nd of May, between 10 and 4 p.m. Registration starts at 8.30. You can go online at the, if you type in um, University of East London, fifth annual diabetes conference, you will get information on how to register. Registration is still open. And you can expect a wide range of presenters from a wide um, 
a range of backgrounds from researchers to GPs to people in local authority and, and service users, people in the voluntary groups in the community, as well as a um, international speaker we, on the stage. We have to this year, Dr. Eric Griggs, who is an international speaker, a consultant specialist in diabetes with 100 Black Men of America Health Project. And he'll be exploring the evolution of diabetes and treatments, community to technology and beyond. You don't want to miss that. And then of course, we're gonna be having providing free lunch. We'll have breakout rooms. We'll have a panel discussion. There's so much that you, you, you'll be able to be involved with. And then we'll have stalls that you can go to and talk to a network of people and collaborate. So I look forward to seeing you. And if you've got any questions, you can always email me. My email is p.a.smith at uel.ac.uk. That is p.a.smith at uel.ac.uk. Thank you very much, and I look forward to seeing you. And thanks, Rudy. Thank you very much. Good day, and see you on the day. Thank you, Rudy. Take care now. Bye. Bye. Thank you, students.